Well, nice to meet you, first of all. Nice to meet you. And uh, was, was doing that show anything you could have ever, you seemed out of everybody that I've seen on that show, like you just were out of place. Like I couldn't, I couldn't imagine that that would be something you would do. It was, it was crazy. It really, really was. Um, you know, it, you can't really prepare yourself for something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't really know how to prepare yourself. But it was an experience, mm -hmm. and I'm um, well, sure it was an experience. <laughs> yes. And I met some fabulous women, uh -huh. and you know, I got to meet Jake. Mm -hmm. And then, but I have to tell you that Jake was great, but meeting you is better. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I mean, my ultimate goal was to meet you. Oh, That's really? You were using him to get to me? Yes, absolutely. Smart. Yes. <laughs> See, now people know how to do it. They go That's on the right. bachelor. Um, and you're, you, you have a son named? Ethan. Ethan, and he's how old? He's eight. Uh, and that's got to be hard that you have a little boy that that met him and yes that's yeah. really hard it was hard and I mean you know they they brought him out on our first date and never ever would I bring out my son on a first date um, because you can't really build a, a connection other mm -hmm. than you know him seeing me as a mother um, right so I mean that was a little weird and especially when I went home and had to tell him that he's not going to be seeing Jake anymore. Yeah, because he you liked know? him and they seem to get along and that's really hard for him. Yeah, now, are you bonded. shocked by the way he's, like that night, you didn't know because you probably saw it for the first time like us last week. Right. Where, where, or this past, this week, that he sent home three women that night. You thought yes. you were the only one going home and then one other at the rose ceremony and then you see that he sent oh, the other girl home as well. Right, Catherine, yeah, yeah at the uh, two on one day. I was shocked, uh -huh. um, you know, I mean, I kind of wanted to slap him, but. Now, well, what do you think about him? Do you like Jake? I'm Honestly, I mean, do you, because I'll tell you, I think he's being really, really honest with himself, mm -hmm. but I'm sure on the other side of that, if you're rejected by him, that's, that's hard, but he really is being true to, but he's picking, what's going on with who he's picking? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because, you know, on our date, he told me that, Everything that he saw in me mm -hmm. was what he wanted in a in a wife and a mother, mm -hmm. and and then to compare myself with, I mean, some of the other girls, like, well, I mean, let's look, let's look at them. <laughs> oh, so, the board. Now, I guess everybody is very confused that she's still here. Vienna. Everybody is wondering why Vienna is still is still around. Right. Now, and, and I don't understand, because I'm not really seeing anything. I'm starting to a little bit, that what everybody's saying. But did you feel the same way about Vienna, like she shouldn't be around? No, I mean, all of the women, they're all from different walks of life. They're all from different parts of, you know, the United States, so they're different. And they all have their little attitudes and quirks. Mm -hmm. But um, Vienna's a good person. I mean, I wouldn't compare with what he is looking for, what I thought he was looking for, with you know, maybe what she's ready for. I mean, right. because she's 23. I mean, she's a great person, but I just, I wouldn't see her ready for marriage and children right, right. now. I right. mean, that's just my opinion, but. Well, the whole thing is kind of crazy that just out of a small pool of people, you're going to say, you're my wife and I'm going to marry you and, and, and I'm ready to settle down. I mean, it's, yeah. it's just kind of crazy, uh, you <laughs> <Yeah>. know, <laughs> really, you know, I mean, it it's is, nice it to is. be able to open yeah. up and meet other people, um, but it, and it's great TV to watch for us, but, it is. but, you know, I can't imagine being in that situation, and then you, you're developing feelings, and you're not even sure if it's real feelings, or if it's just because you get getting caught up in the competitiveness right. of, I want him to like me, right? It's, it's like dating on crack, I yeah. mean, honestly, <laughs> because, I mean, not that I would know that, but, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but I mean, I it's like speed dating, yes. you know? I mean, yes. it's, it's just, it's rushed. Yes. And, and you have to make a connection, you know, right off. I mean, right. you know, I, I really think that him and, and Allie made a really great connection on their date after watching it, mm -hmm. you know? And then I was surprised that him and Vienna made the connection that they made. Right. You know? Well, then now he's connecting with Gia as well. So right. I don't know. And the, yeah. the, and the dating uh, on crack, that line, let's, <laughs> let's be clear, because you will lose your teeth if you do that. Yeah, so no, 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 no. I Nobody totally... wins in that. That's no, a bad no. thing to do. Crack um, is whack, no. Well, listen, crack is whack. That's what I, we've always said it. Um, you should be the next Bachelorette is what oh, you should You should do that. Thank you. That's what you should. Thank you. Because you deserve to meet a nice guy.